Well, hello there. Uh, it's me, Emily. You can probably tell, because, you know. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hello. This is a sister squad. I'm Emily. I'm 13. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about a good show called Julie and the Phantoms. Uh, this show came out, I think, in August of 2020. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I watched it a few months after 2020. Maybe, like, November, September, October, right? And I became obsessed with the show. And now you can tell it's 20, 2024. I will say 2023. Um, and I was just, like, going through Netflix. And I'm like, hey, what if I just rewatch the show I loved three years ago? Like, I wouldn't stop talking about it. Because, you know, like, good show, right? So I went on to Netflix. And I clicked the play button. And I got obsessed with it. I watched the show. I started it at, like, I don't know eight last night and I finished it this morning because I stopped watching at like 10 last night just because you know and I've watched it again and I remember why I love that show so much it's such a good show even now at 13 when I watched it at like 10 I still love that show and so this video is going to be me talking about like how much I like the show I like what I don't like there's probably not going to be a lot in the don't like except that they didn't make season two which was very sad uh sorry my ring um and yeah so, hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so, let's start off with, um, so, if you haven't watched the show, I recommend it. It's really good. It's about this girl named Julie, and her mom passed away, sadly. I don't know how recent. It might have, I think, it, I think it was a year, is what they said. Uh, I might be wrong. And her mom and her loved playing music, right? And she just stopped playing music for a year, because she was really sad about her mom's death. And then suddenly, uh, well, not suddenly, her her dad was like, what if, did, did you, they were going to move, is, is the point, because Julie wanted to, and all that stuff. And so his dad's like, her, her dad is like, go clean out the loft, because your mom used to like the loft, and it was her loft, and she jammed out and stuff. And so Julie's like, okay. So she goes down to the loft, the loft, and the garage, whatever, you know, and she goes up to the thing. And she finds a CD from a band called Sunset Curve. Now, Sunset Curve was this band. The show actually starts out with Sunset Curve playing, uh, getting ready to play at the Orpheum in Hollywood. Because they're a uh, rock band. Rock, rock? I, I call them, yes, they're rock. So there's Luke, Alex, Reggie, and Robbie. Reggie's on bass. Luke is on guitar. Robbie, they said he was on guitar, I forget, rhythm, rhythm guitar, and Alex played the drums, right? Oh, Luke also was the lead singer, right? So they were playing the song, and it was right before the Orpheum, right before, and this lady was in the audience, and she, like, clapped at the end of their, like, practice song, right? And so they go up, and they're like, here, have a t-shirt, right? Uh, this may include spoilers, because I am talking about the show, so if you want to watch the show, uh, stop the video now, and... Go watch the show, then come back, because I'd really like you to watch the video, but I don't want to spoil it for you. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, okay. Back to the t-shirt. So, this, uh, they hand her a t-shirt, right? And she's like, oh, I love you guys, blah, blah, blah. And then Luke, or one of Reggie or Alex, suggests, let's go get hot dogs off the street. Street hot dogs, right? And Robbie wants to, like, impress this girl, right? And so Robbie's like... No, I'm a vegetarian. And so, uh, obviously, they said that he had a, I had a hamburger for lunch. I apologize, my bunny is making noise. And so Luke, Alex, and Reggie go onto the street to go onto the street. They go right before the, two hours before their performance and go get street hot dogs, right? So they put all their toppings on and they're like, uh, what's the line? Uh, d uh, eat up, boys. After tonight, everything's gonna change. They take a bite, and they're like, that's a new flavor. And so they keep biting. Then you see this ambulance go by. And it's like, boo doo 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 Julie and the Phantoms. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and so, Julie, we're going back to this. She's up in the loft, right? And so she finds a CD for Sunset Curve. So she puts it in. She's like, what if I just listen to this band? So she puts it in the CD player, right? She just presses play. She starts listening to the song. She's like, oh, that's cool. She's like, mm. And you start hearing, ah! 
and it's these three, the three, Reggie, Alex, and Luke just appear, just appear in front of her, they're like, Pfft. and she's like, ah, and they're like, ah, and then, ah, and she runs out there, and she goes hide in her room, and she's like, dad, there's a ghost, there's a ghost, and, and he's like, ah, oh, dad, ah, don't worry, I see your mom all the time, she's like, no, there's actual ghosts, and, she, and he's like, okay, I'll be your therapist, tell me what's going on, she's like, you're just like my therapist, and he's like, well, maybe seeing a therapist isn't so bad, and she's like, dad, <laughs> yeah, um, so she gets like the cross right and she goes down and she's like stay away and they're just like hey 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 we're not we're not here we were just as confused as you last night we were supposed to play in the orpheum and she's like huh <laughs> and so she and they're like look up sunset curve and they're like she's like you died 25 years ago because they were from 1995 it's 2020 right now that yeah 25 years and they're like and so Alex is like, I was just crying. I was crying for 25 years. Uh, sorry, I'm like explaining the first episode. Uh, yeah. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so then they like, then she like, she gets kicked out of the music program because she just hasn't played music. And so you can't be in the music program if she can't play music, right? So she lost her tribe and then she like starts playing music again. And then da, 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 da. So they're like, go on stage, play your song, leave a song for you. And then. So she starts playing, and then they, poof, behind her, and they start playing, but then people can see them when they play music. So Julie can see the ghosts just regularly. People can listen to them, but when they're playing with Julie, they can also see them play music, but only when they're playing music, right? So they do that, and then they start this whole band, and there's this whole dance thing, blah, blah, blah. And this is where we get to the da 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 spooky wookie part. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so there's this guy named Caleb. And, oh, I forgot about Willie. Willie, uh, so Alex, like, has a crush on this guy named Willie, right? Uh, so that's cool. And, uh, so Willie's, like, and so, oh, they learn, the bandmates, Luke, Reggie, and, uh, Alex learn that their band, remember, Robbie, who's the vegetarian, who didn't eat the hot dogs that killed them, uh, stole the songs that Luke wrote and took them all for credit, and now he's rich and has a helicopter and a mansion, while Luke, Alex, and Reggie are ghosts living in a garage, so they're mad, and so they go to this guy, Caleb, and they're, they're like, he can talk to liver, li 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 lifers, and so they're like, okay, and so they do this whole club, and there's like ladies, and the feathers, and bikinis, and yeah, why is this, why is this not PG-30? Uh, actually, the second season got cancelled, I think, I think, I think, because it, the show was, like, too old than it was supposed to be. But anyway, uh, I might be wrong, who knows, not me. So, they go there, and they're like, he stamps them, right? And... They're like, just, uh, that's just, the, that's just, the, that's just the membership thing. That's just, that's membership to the club because you love it and you can actually eat ghost skinny. Ha! <laughs> anyway, and so that happens. And so they have these stamps now. Stamps are important. Stamps. Yeah. And so that. So then they come back and they're like, they're Julie and the Phantoms. Oh, shoot. I just gave away their name. They're called, they were... Everyone, th everyone was confused earlier about how, like, the ghosts were playing, and they're like, it's holograms, and she's like, yeah, it's holograms, so everyone, so it's Julian the hologram band, and they shorten it to Julian the phantoms, because her friend has, like, this whole fight and stuff, don't feel like going over all nine episodes, unless you want me to, you put that in the comments, maybe I will, because, you know, I could talk about this for a long time, uh, yeah, uh, so, but then, they start getting jolts, so it's like, ugh, purple oh purple ah. and they're like the stamps are doing this so willie's really upset Al everyone is like ah and then caleb's like you have to join my house band or you will die you will but you're but then they're like we're already dead and they'll just they'll cease to exist <sighs> yeah so and then and then then we get to the sad part um luke's so luke ran away from his house uh, before he died, like, when he started a band. So his mom's name was Emily, his dad's name was Mitch. Uh, and so he ran away because, like, they didn't, like, like that he was in a band and played guitar and stuff. And so he wrote a song called Unsaid Emily, and I have that currently stuck in my head right now, so it's like, uh, Unsaid Emily, bam, bam, yeah. Uh, and, and so it's, like, his birthday, and they, like, go over and sad. So Julie, like, goes, and they, she, like, hands him a song, and there's this whole song where it's, like, uh, shoot, I keep thinking of Heather every time. Uh, uh, 
yeah uh listen watch yes uh we're so they keep getting the jolts right and then like you gotta do your unfinished business uh then you can cross over right and so they think the unfinished business is to go to the orpheum uh to play at the orpheum so julie and the phantoms so julie alex reggie and luke go and they find a way to play at the orpheum the jolts are so bad and Caleb teleports the three, Reggie, Alex, and Luke, over to, like, pass band. They're like, bah, ah, ooh, ah, ee. And finally, they get to play at the Orpheum, and Julia's like, goodbye, guys, I missed you so much. And she goes back, and she goes to the garage, and she's like, thank you guys for doing so much. And they're like, you're welcome. And she's like, you did a crossover! <laughs> Why did my voice just do that? Jeez. Um, ow. Okay. And they're like, yeah. Oh, we thought, we thought that was our unfinished business, but it wasn't, and she's like, nah! and so, I, I, uh, then Luke and her hug, and I'm not sure if you know that, but, uh, ghosts and human, they go through each other, you can't touch, so they hug, and I'm just like, and, and they're like, and, and Luke just starts glowing. Did I mention that Julie and Luke have a crush on each other? And yeah, another reason I should go by episode by episode, but who knows, not me. Uh, okay. And so they hug, and they're like, glow, and he's like, I feel stronger. And then they're like, Alex, Reggie, come and hug, we're a band. So they hug, and everyone's glowing, and they're like, can we do that hug thing again? And so they're like, yeah, we just played the Orpheum! Wow! And that's where it ends. Oh, wait, I forgot. So, Julia was crushing this guy named Nick asked her out, but then there was a whole thing. And then Caleb possesses Nick at the end. Uh, another reason we should have the season two. But, of course, it got cancelled in December of 2020. And I'm not sure if you know this, but it's 2024. Uh, yeah. Uh, this video is getting long. So, uh, I'm gonna get to what I was gonna say, because that was just me recapping, like, nine episodes. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, uh, that was my recap of the nine episodes. What I was gonna say it was just me being mad about them not having season two, because I get, like, I get why they canceled it, but, like, it was a hit show, and I- you- don't know about this about me unless you do and you're a stalker but you know i own 92 subscribers i don't think there's any stalkers in there no 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 and if you are oh <laughs> um i personally i love music you might have seen some of my videos i was in a rock band i was doing all that jazz i can't say jazz it was a rock band yeah uh but I really like 90s outfit. I like the 90s style. I like the 90s music. I like the 80s music. And so the thing I really like about that show is like the styles of like Alex, Reggie, and Luke are like, ah, give me their outfits. Uh. Yeah, right, I'm wearing a Loki shirt right now. Uh, I really like the music. The music in the show, it's awesome. Uh, it's like, you know, it's um, I, I, it's not like those songs that are like, I love you cause you don't want me. It's like, uh, I'm standing on the edge of, I don't know the words. I know there's this moment is us to own, but I'm standing on the edge of, on the edge of gray. Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know, am I, I don't copyright me if that's copyright claimed. It might be, honestly. Don't copyright me, please. It's not my music. Uh, yeah! So that was my recap and talking about it. If you want me to talk more specific about certain episodes, hit me up in the comments. Uh, I don't know why I made this video. I was bored and I don't feel like doing homework. And it's snowing, so that's cool. Uh, yeah. So I hope you all have a nice day. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. And watch Julian Phantoms. Bye.